day everybody. My name is Denzel Celestin de Costa from the Department of Hospitality Science, Milagris College, Mangalore. Today, we are going to talk about ingredients used in the bakery. The first ingredient we are going to discuss in today's session is flour. Now, what is flour? Flour is a powdery substance produced by finely grinding grains through a process called as milling. The classification of flour based on the amount of protein that each type contain. Okay. Now, basically flour is either wheat or rye or any of the grains that are milled and which are milled, milled basically means which are dried and then they are converted into a powder. This powder is either directly used or treated and used for different purposes. The quality of flour depends basically on the protein content available in the flour. Protein determines the gluten strength of the flour. Okay, so gluten is basically the protein present in the flour. Gluten gives the dough its shape and form. So now we will go and see what are the different types of flour available in the market for commercial as well as home use. First one is the all-purpose flour. As the name suggests, all-purpose flour, also known as refined flour, is a simple flour. is made from wheat grains after removing the brown covering. It is then milled refined and bleached it is a white and powdery unlike whole wheat flour which is creamish and grainy it has a moderate protein content of about 10 to 12 percent remember here the protein content in this flour is about 10 to 12 percent okay next flour is nothing but cake flour Cake flour is a finely milled flour made from soft wheat that is usually bleached. It is described as weak because the products made from it are tender as the name suggests. suggests. Tender with a delicate texture as you know cakes are very tender. You need them to crumble in your mouth. Okay, so that is why this cake flour is used. Cake flour is a special flour that is low in protein and very finely ground. It has a lower protein content of all flours. It is around 5 to 8 percent of proteins. Next one is the pastry flour. Okay, this flour basically has around 8 to 9 percent of protein content. Pastry flour falls in between all-purpose flour and cake flour. It strikes the perfect balance between flakiness and tenderness, making it, to, making it the go-to choice for pie crust, tarts and cookies. You can even make your own at home by mixing one-third cup of all-purpose flour with two-third cup of cake flour. Remember, this is a mixture of both all-purpose flour and cake flour. It will have the tenderness as well as that strength of the all-purpose flour. Tenderness of the cake flour and strength of the all-purpose flour. Next one is bread flour. <clears throat> as the name suggests, this flour is used to make bread. Has the highest amount of protein, thus has high gluten content, so it is used for breads. As the name suggests, it has the highest amount of protein, thus has high gluten content, so it is used to make breads. Bread flour is creamy in color and is rather rough and granular. Bread flour is a high protein flour. 12 to 14 percent. Remember the protein content of this flour is around 12 to 14 percent. That's often used in yeast breads. The extra protein produces more gluten. Remember the extra protein which is there in this flour produces more gluten which 
often means a chewier bread and a better rice because if there is no more gluten the bread when it rises it can break open if there is less uh, that is less gluten it will break open if it is more gluten it will not break open gluten gives bread dough its elasticity and stretch trapping air bubbles next we go to self raising flour so what does this self raising flour mean self raising flour was created in the mid 1800s by an english baker called as henry jones self raising flour is a combination of all purpose flour baking powder and salt it is sort of a ready baking flour it is generally made from soft wheat which is of pro, which a pro, with a protein content around 8 to 9% the blend is typically comprised of 1 cup of all purpose flour plus 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of baking powder and 1/4 teaspoon fine salt so this is a mixture of these all contents readily available so you need not add anything else just add water to prepare the dough okay so we head on to the next flour that is whole wheat flour that is what we use in india in a regular basis during the milling process the kernel of the wheat is separated into three components the endosperm the germ and the bran to make white flour just the endosperm is milled to make whole wheat flour varying amount of germ and bran are added back into the flour don't think that the bran is milled with the flour but it is milled separately and then added back into the flour whole wheat flour tends to have a high protein content around 13 to 14% because of this whole wheat flour usually leads to super sticky dough and denser baked goods denser as in which has less holes next one is white whole wheat flour not to be confused with bleached flour white whole wheat flour is made up of the same component as whole wheat flour but from a paler variant of wheat called as hard white wheat this is a type of wheat which is paler or whitish in color it has the same protein content as the whole wheat flour at 13 to 14% but it tastes slightly sweeter of its lower tanning content whole wheat flour and white wheat flour actually have the same health benefits gluten free flour this is a latest type of flour where gluten is extracted out of the flour gluten free flour can be made from all sorts of ingredients based bases such as rice corn potato tapioca buckwheat quinoa sorghum or nuts xanthium gum can sometimes be added to gluten free flour to help stimulate the chewiness associated with gluten gluten free flour can't always be substituted one is to one for white flour so be sure to check your specific specific recipe if you are thinking about swapping the two next is the double o flour or the zero zero flour often referred to as italian style flour double o flour is made from the hardest type of wheat with a protein content of 11 to 12%. The double o refers to the super fine texture of the flour making it easy to roll out to extreme thinness without breaking which is perfect for pasta and cakes. So these all were the different types of flour available in the market for manufacturing of different sorts of baked goods i hope you understood the topic thank you very much